Do you want to know how to end your year strong? Then this video is the one for you. Hey, 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 hello everyone. My name is Emily Joan Smith and I am a limitless life coach. I help ambitious go-getters to finally crush their limitations so they can create their dream life and live without limits. For the best videos on overcoming limitations in your life, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell so you never miss a video. This YouTube series is all about ending your year strong. This is week two out of 10. And if you've missed week one, definitely check it out after this video. Week two is all about gratitude. The importance of gratitude. Gratitude literally has changed my life and the life of many people I know. I recently read a book by Jay Shetty called Think Like a Monk, and in his book he said, if thankfulness and gratitude could be sold as a drug, it would be the most in demand because gratitude literally makes you more happy. Gratitude literally makes you see more greatness in the world and literally it will change your life if you practice it daily. Gratitude is the medicine to cure sadness. Gratitude exercise number one. For the next week and preferably up until 2021 because you want to end this year strong, find five things to be grateful for every single evening. Now, this can be difficult at the start, but once you get a grasp on what to be grateful for and have a mind to look for things to be grateful for, more things will crop up. It's like when your mum or your wife or your spouse or a friend gets a new car or you get a new car. You start seeing that car everywhere. And once you have a mind for gratitude, you start to see things to be grateful for everywhere in your life. You will start to think during your day, oh, that can be one of my five this evening. So every single evening, find five things to be grateful for. Now, a lot of people do this, but they don't do it particularly well because they're very vague with it. And if you're just starting out, it's better to be vague because it's more easy. Like I'm grateful to breathe. I'm grateful to be healthy. I'm grateful that I have limbs. I'm grateful that I can talk and speak and watch. Like these are all great, but how you really practice gratitude is to get specific. Why are you grateful for these things? What does having these things in your life mean to you? Once you get specific, you can really start to feel that gratitude. And that's where gratitude works because when you're feeling gratitude, you can't really feel anything negative because it's said and it's a proven fact that you can't think positive things and feel negative. You can't think positive things and be sad because you're having positive thoughts. So when you're doing your five things, make it specific. If it's about a person, why are you grateful for them? What particular moment in life are you grateful about to do with them? Make it really specific. Gratitude exercise number two. Each morning for the next week and till 2021, if you really want to end this year strong, think of one person you are grateful for. And like I said previously, be specific about it. Why are you grateful for them? Think of these people in the morning so you wake up with a sense of gratitude, with a feeling of gratitude. And if you wanna take this one step further, message that person, ring that person, tell them why you are grateful for them because A, it will make you feel good and B, it will make them feel good. So I dare you, send a message tomorrow to someone you are grateful for. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button, putting a comment in the comments, pressing subscribe and hitting that bell button so you never miss a video. As I said, this is week number two of end your year strong, finish your year strong. So make sure you check out week number one. I'll put it in the description below. Bye.